Because the two of us are teaching the masters um, in this education program. So our students um, are, are actually in a program to become nurse educators because for our professional body does, ne does not allow any person to teach at a college or at a university without an education qualification. So if students want to be lecturers or want to be tutors wherever, they have to have a qualification in nursing education. So our students then are doing their masters in nursing education to get that qualification. And then we decided, all right, now that we have been on e-teaching and e-learning for a long time, and the, 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 our colleagues in the division asked us to pilot, then we said, okay, let's decide which modules that we are going to, decide, to actually have the pilot in. So we chose um, the two modules that Zodwa and I are facilitating so that we can have the students to actually learn how to use the platform. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh, so as Lauren has given the background, um, our presentation is actually about the eCanva as a, a tool itself. We have not gone that far in terms of how we actually use it as a pedagogical tool in terms of content related. So all our responses, our experiences and student experiences are talking to the use of the tool or getting uh, used into it. So um, we were really inquisitive you know, to find out uh, how um, the tool is working and uh, the, ex uh, the extension or the possibility of extent to use the tool beyond just uh, for them as students but for them as nest educators in the future. Uh, yes, indeed, there were some challenges for both us us and the students. Uh, students, they did mention that um, at some times they were not able to access the Imcanva, especially when they were outside the campus. And I imagine it was initial periods when the Imcanva was not that much stable. And we know there was so much of the offline downtown and uh, downtown and students were also not able to access Imcanva. And even for us, when those times when the tool was down, we, uh, we had to use other options like emails and, um, and even WhatsApp. And that's why I was interested in asking him how does he keep up with use of all these social media because students, they just throw you all over and you have to respond. And indeed, it is quick when you respond to whatever that they are trying to communicate with you on. So those were the delays. And another, I think the main delay was that we, we just decided to use the eCanva while the program has already started. So we didn't have like the enough time to introduce ourselves on it. So that was one of the, uh, the, the challenges. And hence, we wanted to find out more about it. So um, we also tried to look around about the cover. For me, it was a very strange word, because I'm not a closer speaking. I'm a Zulu speaking. So we discovered that it means the future. And that's why we wanted to know, really, how does it relate to, uh, to the use in the future. So. Um, so nursing, student, I mean student, nursing education students who were registered for the program by default, they, become, they became our participants. Although this is not a research base, but um, they, were, they had to, to, to respond because we wanted to find out. And the aim was really to find out if um, they do see the pedagogical value with, uh, in terms of the theoretical uh, understanding and the, the principles of Incanva and as as in opposition to use of it as just a social media. Um, and then it's for teaching and learning purposes. So as facilitators, we're eager to find out more about it, as uh, Lorraine has already uh, explained. And the, the Incamba was already at that disposal for their use, which you will see when she talks about the, uh, the outcomes of their experiences, that they actually didn't use it to the, its maximum benefit. Uh, so. Um, Okay, this is, I think we've covered it. The aim is just to present our experiences. So she has already covered most of the, uh, 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 the uh, slide here. 
So in nursing education, uh, the theoretical foundations and the teaching learning, the teaching learning, that's where it falls squarely because that's where they learn about the teaching methods and the teaching tools, strategies and techniques that they can use for facilitation of learning. So that's where it was um, applied most. And, um, and the students' activities were supposed to be not only uh, pedagogical related, but also for communication as we wanted them to also participate in the discussion forum, which they couldn't. Uh, we tried to pose most of the questions just to trigger them to come up with some discussions, but they couldn't engage. And when we asked them, they were actually didn't have enough time to engage with those um, uh, discussions. So that's why I was saying that our discussion is mainly from the use of the tool, mainly because with the learning as such, student didn't engage that much. Okay, so yes. I think she can... Yeah, so we posed these questions. The first one was, um, how was the training that um, the students were exposed to? Because we had to have um, training as educators, as well as students. So we combined the training for them to be able to get to know about Ikamba. The students found that the training was easy. It was much easier than... What they said was the platform itself was much easier than teaching they actually could work faster once they got to know the the, 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 the screen itself what is there what is there they actually we, they were allowed we left them and they, they they actually explored all what is in there by themselves so and the, the excitement was that they, they could do some of the things there so uh, some of them actually also put stuff like the within their portfolio they saw that it was easy for them to actually create an e-portfolio so it was the, the, for them, they said that the training was easy and it was interesting and they enjoyed it. And um, like we've mentioned, the other question that we asked them was, what was the most uh, useful for them on Ikamba? We used the announcements and the discussion forum and the course resources for them. The announcements, they, they, that was effective, they, they, they liked that, and the course resources. And like what Zodo has mentioned with the discussion forum, that was like a no-go area for them. So we have a challenge here with them. And we hope that we'll sort it out now in semester two. The third question was, how would you create your improvement on your usage of Ikamba? So they, they mentioned that they actually, as they used Ikamba, they actually became more experienced and they improved. Um, um, on their performance with regards to the usage. So they could log on with ease and all that. And initially, we had those problems of logging on. But the, what we've realized is that most of the problems that were there was because of the network passwords. Mm -hmm. Then they would say, no, I can't log in. I can't access, I can't access. But when we dig deeper, we realized that, no, actually, it's a network password issue. So they had to go to ICS and sort it out. So we, we said, no, that's not the case. It's not Ikamba that is a problem. It is actually the password for you to get access. So that was sorted out quite easily. And then the fourth question was, how would you, would, would you use Ikamba as a learning support system in the future? All of them, they did indicate that um, it was useful. They would like to use it. And um, with regards to us as, as facilitators, Zodo has mentioned that Initially, there were issues with regards to access and the downtime and all that. But um, that improved, I think, with maybe um, the bandwidth or whatever. But I think that improved. We never had those issues anymore, but that was initially. And then the announcement, we have said that the students liked that. So it was we used it quite a lot because they could actually all of them get the, the, the information as um, we, we, we click the button and then it goes, okay? The discussion forum we've mentioned, no-go area, we have a challenge there, so we are going to look into that. Because what they preferred to use was their own social media. So they had WhatsApp, they had Facebook, and all that. So for us, the challenge was, they, they had that, but that they excluded us. We, we, we were like out of the picture, it was them and not us. So we, we needed to be part of that in, interaction, and that we must. We must that 
So we don't have that aspect. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we would have with regard to how they interact with, with content was when they're coming in for seminars because they come every other fortnight for seminars with regards to the modules themselves. Otherwise, we feel that it is a very good experience and we'd like to have a, um, a canvas there because we've seen that they are, the, the tools that are there are very useful. For example, with regards to the discussion forum, having to assess it, how you, you as, a, as, a, as a facilitator, are able to see the engagement, like what Hazanta has actually shown. You can see the engagement, you can be able to, to see who has read, who hasn't read, you know. How is it? How, how, how deep is the information that they give? So for us, that is the main thing. And that for us is a challenge which we are going to do something about it because there is no way that you can have master's students that don't engage in the, 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 the content itself. And then we, we have decided that we definitely will use the Canva in the future and we, we're hoping that it should be rolled out because that our current master's students are now in doing the module that is curriculum development. In that module, we have given them a task to develop um, a system credit module because in the nursing curriculum, we have a new curriculum that is we have, we have started to, to actually compile, which hopefully will be ready for implementation 2015 and the latest 2016. So for these students, we have given them a task to do a micro curriculum on one of the modules. So what we want them to do is, because it's a small group of about eight students, is that they would be able now to do the micro curriculum and actually use the platform for them to, to actually put that um, module through there. So we'll be able to assess how they have developed the curriculum itself and how they have integrated the uh, technology in this. So hopefully by end of, this semester will have some more information and um, input with regards to the experiences that they have had because they are nurse educators and they cannot be outside uh, not knowing what is happening with technology. So they need to know what technologies are there, what emerging technologies are there, and how to use them. And that is why they have to be involved all the time. So we're learning with them. Um, the other limitations, we think that we did say that, that students should respond on specific questions that might have limited their way of responding or telling us more. So it was not like open-ended or open um, question for them to tell everything they would have wanted to tell us. So that could also be a limitation of what we are presenting to you today. And also because we circulated a, a, a questionnaire via email, we could have not probed and to find out more. For an example, students, they indicated that they have um, moderately developed. So now, if they have moderately and not maximally, how would, why would you want? You know, we could, have, we could have asked that question. Because if you have really developed well, then you're really interested in using it more. But we couldn't probe in all those things. So we thought we would still further um, uh, uh, find out about it. And that is the day. Thank you very much. I uh, just want to tell you that these two ladies are e-learning champions going way back when, uh, when we started. Uh, some we know way back. And then uh, some people say, go away. The culture at university, at this university, is never going to change. Nobody's going to do this stuff. And these were ladies where people did not want to do this stuff. They had online environments, sent their students into the field of podcasts, etc. Also using the blogger tool to uh, develop curriculum. So thank you for the feedback. It's important for us to know what's happening and to give us uh, feedback so that we can improve uh, on the system. So we appreciate it.